In response to Donald Trump's disgusting comments about E. Jean Carroll during the CNN town hall with him, Carroll has filed to seek a very substantial sum of additional damages against the former president. Now, before we get to any further details about this new move by E. Jean Carroll, why don't we remember what Trump said during that town hall? We had this great chemistry, and a few minutes later, we end up in a a room, a dressing room of Bergdorf Goodman, right near the cash register. And then she found out there were locks on the door. So she said, I found one that was open. She found one. She learned this at trial. She found one that was open. What kind of a woman meets somebody and brings them up, and within minutes, you're playing hanky panky in a dressing room, okay? <laughs> I don't know if he was, he was married then or not. John Johnson, I feel sorry for you, John Johnson. Mr. President, can I? Can no, but I think, think of it. Think of uh, it. I know you're recounting what she said, but Mr. But, President. But let, let me just, if I could, because you asked the question. This was a Just jury, so you understand, though. if I was walking in at the park, because I was very famous then, and I owned the Plaza Hotel right next door, and I owned buildings around it, I'm not going into a dressing room of a crowded department store. Then I say, if she was being raped, and by the way, they said she wasn't raped. Okay, that was her charge. She wasn't. They found they that you did, they found, abused her. No, no, what, say what they, they did. They said he didn't rape her. And they didn't I didn't do anything else either. You know what? Because I have no idea who the hell she is. I don't know who this woman is. I mean, remember, E. Jean Carroll took him to court in a civil suit, not only because of what he allegedly did to her in a department store. But also because he defamed her after the fact. And apparently, uh, the case was so persuasive to the jurors that they sided with her on the defamation claim, especially. So, uh, what is the new filing by E. Jean Carroll? Well, according to the New York Times, Monday's filing came in a separate defamation lawsuit that Carroll had filed in 2019 against Trump, which is before the same judge who presided in the civil trial. The older case stemmed from comments Trump made that year, shortly after she said, that he had raped her in a Manhattan department store dressing room in the mid 1990s. That lawsuit had been sidetracked by appeals, but is still pending. So Carol's new filing alleges Trump's defamatory statements following a May 9th verdict show the depth of his malice toward Carol, since it is hard to imagine defamatory conduct that could possibly be more motivated by hatred, ill will or spite. Her filing on Monday, meaning today, asks the judge, Lewis Kaplan of Federal District Court, to let her revise her 2019 defamation lawsuit to include the fact of the jury's verdict against Trump, as well as his statements on CNN and others he made about Carol on his truth social platform, Cenk. Yeah, so look, if she sues him again for defamation on the same issue, um, I get why she's doing it because she's saying, look, the whole point of the defamation lawsuit was to shut his ass up about all these lies he's saying about me. And he's not shutting up, so I guess I'm gonna have to sue him again. Uh, and I won five million last time, I guess I'm gonna have to sue for more this time so it can actually work. So that's already fair. But I think that the worst thing that Trump said is something extra he added there. And I, I don't wanna run it, uh, but he in very crass terms accused her of being racist against her own husband at the time, John Johnson, right? The one that he mentioned, who's a, a famous uh, African American news anchor in New York. I grew up watching him. And he says something terrible about what she said about him. I, it's Donald Trump, so I have no idea if it's true, but it is very, very unlikely to be true given that it's Donald Trump, right? Um, so, but I thought, wow, I can't believe he said that after he got sued for defamation, right? And then he went into absurdities. I, you know, you know I mean, you've he seen he it by sounded now. Sounded like a lunatic during that yeah. town hall. Look, in that same segment, and I'll say this one just because it's so over the top absurd. I, I hope that you don't take it seriously. But he said, "Her, she's so bad. Uh, her cat is named Vagina." What? I mean, the guy's a lunatic, right? He but said that of, in his CNN town hall. He did. He did. And <laughs> even if her cat was named Vagina, like, what does What's that have the to do? Who cares? What, what are you doing, right? Yeah. And so, oh, that must mean you're innocent. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> But in his mind, if you you know, if you're a woman 
and you flirt with anyone, as he said in that clip that we showed you, you name your cat something he doesn't like, it's like you had it coming. No, that's the only reason he would mention those. Are things. you kidding me? According to Trump, if you walk and you're a woman, you had it coming. I mean, he bragged about grabbing women without consent in their genitalia. Like, come yeah. on, yeah, come on. And, you and tell on yourself all the time, homeboy. Come on. So he's doing both things there. He's both defaming her in the ways that we explained, but he's also saying about the verdict on the sexual abuse, like, come on. She says she was flirting with me, and now then she objects when we're in the in the. Uh, you know, uh, changing room. So, did you do it? Because it sounds like you're saying you did do it. Exactly. I mean, right? he just can't help himself, Jenk. Like that's the thing that it doesn't even shock me at this point because he does it all the time. He admits to crimes publicly, out loud, all the time. In fact, in a different part of that CNN town hall, he actually potentially admitted to several different crimes. But another part was about the classified documents that he had in his. Home in Mar-a-Lago, Caitlin Collins asked him, hey, did you show him to anyone? And he was like, no, I don't remember. I was like, "Oh my God, he showed him to other people. <laughs> okay, it's like so obvious, right? I don't remember the exact words he used, but he basically said like something along the lines of, could be, <laughs> right? Which means, oh my God, who did he show him to? Who did he show him to? And he said that on national TV. And by he's the way, he's too dumb to lie effectively. No, 100%. and he's too dumb to stop lying, which leads to a second defamation suit. Exactly, which is why I don't begrudge her at all for this new filing. If he's going to keep me, and by the way, I have no doubt that if she wins in this latest effort, he's going to do it again. So if you can like milk the guy for whatever he he has left, why wouldn't you? I mean, he's the one who keeps finding himself in these situations in the first place because he can't shut his mouth. He no. loses. He mouths off on Truth Social and during town halls, and it opens up another opportunity to sue him and potentially win significant damages. Look, he's a perfect recipe for an endless string of defamation lawsuits, not just by her, by but by almost anyone he talks about. Because he's A, a pathological liar, B, too stupid to realize it, and C, has verbal diarrhea. He totally does. Okay, when you combine those three things, just get ready to send all your money uh, to settle defamation lawsuits. What a disaster. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.